I almost took us the wrong way. Coffee, I heard coffee. The reason that we are in Valladolid is it's raining and there's a tin roof. I'm in heaven. They're not gonna go on our list of places eaten by the lead. Now we're on the search for the best pocones in all of Valladolid. Muy rico. We're gonna try Hawaiian tacos. It's hot. Holy crap. Well, those of you with any military experience will be familiar with the term mission creep. That's really good. This week you're gonna need sweatpants and a bottle of Tom's as we go in search of food that's been heating up the streets since before Cortez ever landed in the Yucatan. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see I almost took us the wrong way Thankfully Gabe was paying attention Why I should ever let you go mm -hmm. I don't want to wake right up there. If I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough This place is so cute And there's water and coffee in the lobby Coffee? I heard coffee. Let's see what the room looks like. Oh. <laughs> this is a really cute room. Let's check out the bathroom. It's pretty big. It's got everything we need. I think we're gonna like it here. Oh, those are really firm. I think firm good. We'll find out tonight. We'll let them <laughs> And we will tell you why exactly we've come to Valladolid a little later. For now, it's time to freshen up. Oh, holy cow. Check this out. We have an awesome little rooftop terrace and an amazing view of Valladolid. Cathedral's right there. That's the Hotel Mestan de Marques. Well, we were going to record it all tonight and just chill out, but what the heck. Good sign. There's proper trucks at the stoplights. The reason that we are in Valladolid is that we looking for street food and pocanes. They're Mayan and they could call them because they're shaped like this a serpent's head. And they are made of uh, cornmeal and it's almost like a bread and then they stuff them. And that is the reason why we're coming here is because I got a craving and I want to eat some more of them. And we also want to find the best ones in town. But tonight what we're going to do is go to the Bazaar Municipal, which is supposed to be a giant food court and we will see if it's still open because it's getting close to six and things close early around here. We've heard a ton about this place and we can't wait to see what it's about. Looks like we're in luck. Food and jewelry. Okay, I'm terrible, but I'm craving Chinese food. And there's a Chinese place right over there. I'm excited that we got to find Chinese food, but it's really bland. I had to put a lot of soy sauce on it. But I didn't put soy on it. I put chili sauce on it. <laughs> well, that was all right, but I need a little something else. I always need a little something else. <laughs> Let's go check this place out. It's raining and there's a tin roof. I'm in heaven. Brings back memories from childhood, sitting in the barn. There's your Jamaica. Wow. So even if this place is good, we're not coming back. Because he pulled a little shysty on us because we're, well, not from here. So, anyways. Not much flavor. Try your ridiculously expensive Jamaica. So what he did, he knew exactly what I was ordering was just a little jar, a little glass of Jamaica, but he gave us a full-on liquado and mixed it all up in the blender and stuff, even though I specifically said I didn't want that and then charged us for it. So that's cool. It's good. We won't be back. The kitchen needs is okay. It's good enough. Miranchito. They're not gonna go on our list of places eaten by the lead but they're all right. We got a little reprieve. It was absolutely dumping rain. We're gonna try and get home before it pours again. Go ahead, go and breathe fire. It's coming. Shake it down, shake it to the core. Go ahead, home for the night. And a nice home at that.
Well, we are of course on the hunt for food, but first we need to go down to the ADO bus station to get our tickets for next week's journey. So we hopefully save a little bit because they go up as the journey gets closer. Well, that was fun. So it was interesting. We noticed that people were having trouble with the electronic tickets on the last bus. So we came down here to buy them in paper, but they just gave them to us electronically here. So uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> now we're on the search for the best coconuts in all of Valladolid. This little town is adorable. We have our first contestant. Dos, por favor. Ah, por comer acá. These are pocanes. Oh. The crispiness of the outside, the juiciness of the tacos, I mean the meat, and the other thing. Oops. She's got oh. chores. <laughs> Gracias. Muy rico. All right, since yours is good, I'm gonna eat mine. Okay. I put a bunch of habanero on mine. He said it wasn't very hot, but that's a Yucatecan not very hot. We'll see. That's right, it, it's not super hot. Actually, it's probably about right for you. Oh, cool, I'll have to try it. Yeah, but she eats hot stuff, so beware. Oh, wow, those are fantastic. Mmm. Oh, we forgot to tell you, that little stand is at the corner of 41 and 44. Right now we're just walking down 44 because we saw some other taco carts down here. We're going to try Hawaiian tacos. There's <laughs> pork, pineapple, onion. That's a <laughs> Had to get a little lemon on there. Ooh, these are warm. Give me one more time. They're really good. You can get that sweetness of the pineapple. Something's a little warm in here. Must be the sauce I put on it. And the meat is really moist. This is really good combination. Hawaiian tacos. And then some other word I didn't understand that probably meant for foreigners. Mm -hmm. One to ten, what do you give them? Seven. I'm going to add some habanero and have mine. Ooh. Ice cream. And these are 15 pesos a piece. So, was that like 75 cents? Wow. Hey guys, you got these tacos? These tacos are great. I put a ton of their habanero. <laughs> I put a ton of the habanero on. As you can tell by the hiccups. <laughs> it's hot. Holy crap. It's good though. I kind of noticed it's probably going to be hot when the uh, one that he said wasn't hot at all was hot. So, <laughs> but it's really good. So definitely come visit these guys right here on the corner of 43 and 44. Well, those of you with any military experience will be familiar with the term mission creep. That's when you got a mission, but then like everything, it starts getting bigger. People start jumping in and changing it. And that's a pretty broad generalized term, but you get what I'm saying. We had a really good mission here to find the best street food and the best pocanes in Valladolid. But then... I'm obsessed with quilling, which is a paper art. And so my goal is to find supplies here that I can start quilling. And I will show you once I have started my quilling. <laughs> but we have to find the supplies first. You walked by a big paper store and now we're headed back there. Well, that's one of the missions. I saw a paper store we had to eat because I get angry if we don't eat. And now we're going back to the paper store. All I knew about was street food, but off we go to the paper store. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We have to get on every aisle. I'm not entirely sure what all quilling entails, but I do know that Kate made some really awesome looking cards for me with it. So yeah, she's pretty talented.
see that scratch on Kate's lenses right there? She got that in the Indian cave dwellings in Colorado. That one on mine I got just now when I dropped my glasses on the floor at the paper store in Vitaldi. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It never fails just as you turn on to record. Anybody who drives record will know this. As soon as you turn it on, something loud drives by. I found two items that I need, glue and scissors. The only other two things I need is paper and a tool to wind the paper with. Slowly but surely. I'm gonna wait to break it to her that as soon as we get on a plane, they're gonna take all this stuff from her and chuck it out at the security checkpoint. And he doesn't realize, my bag's too big, I have to check it, which I'm going to rectify. Uh, so it's in there, they'll never actually take it from me unless they steal it. That's right. <laughs> Yet again, I stand corrected. Something else that adds to the charm around here is how many of the locals just wear like kind of traditional dress. It's just really cool. She found another one. This is a lot of fun. It's fun to be creative. Hey, look what I found in the shade. Only pay from whole block. Look at that, found what you wanted in the smallest little store. Found some colored paper. It's hot. I'm very strange. Never gonna argue with that. Right, they have cheese ice cream. I'm gonna have to come back and try that. That is a passion fruit trolley. Found a little bench in the shades. I'm gonna enjoy some melting ice cream. By the way, it has an absolutely adorable plaza. Tastes like lime with milk. Now for the passion fruit trolley. That's really good. That's what I thought. Wow. I'm thinking I should have picked this. Get a bite of yours. His is refreshing. Mine's not refreshing. It's not bad though. See that? <laughs> These little things that look like peanuts are falling out of the tree like rain. They're just pelting us. But this tree has the best shade sitting right here, so we're gonna take it. Much like Kate took my passion fruit trolley. Hmm, we're getting into the afternoon and it's getting close to 100 degrees. So we are going to head back to the room and chill, literally and figuratively, for a bit and then see what we find this evening. So we will leave you with that. Keep drinking with coffee. <laughs> leave the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs>